Hey y'all, this is uh, Trina coming in at you today. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've done a video. I've been kind of busy I'm doing some things. Anyway, um, I've gotten a lot of uh, Hello Kitty items and stuff. So I thought I'd come in today just for fun. Just to do um, a Hello Kitty haul tutorial. Um, I'm sure everyone on the planet has heard of Hello Kitty. Um, if you're a girl... Um, or a woman just like me um, and was raised around Hello Kitty parents buying you Hello Kitty items you know who Hello Kitty is um, it's becoming very popular um, for those of you who don't know about what Hello Kitty is um, um, just go to your local mall or department store you'll see a, it's called the San Reno I think it is San Rio or San Reno Rio or San Reno um, store where they sell um, uh, um, notebooks, pencils, erasers, blankets, um, um, pencil cases, pens, bath products, robes, um, uh, slippers, um, even clothes um, with the Hello Kitty logo on it. And if you don't know what the Hello Kitty logo is, here I'll just show you what I'm going to show you but this oops that's that's the hello kitty logo and I'm gonna show you in a minute what what this is but anyway that's the little hello kitty logo and then here's another one Here, that's the mean hello kitty logo and I'll tell you about that as well but anyway um anyone who knows me who knows Trina um knows I love anything Hello Kitty um, from their pencils and their erasers I couldn't get enough of those when I was a little girl my mom was going to the mall she knew that she was gonna have to spend at least twenty thirty dollars in Hello Kitty buying me the pencils or re-upping on the smelly erasers and the notebooks of paper and stuff to do my homework and stuff on I loved um, those items so she knew she'd have to come out the pocket with something to get me something from Hello Kitty because I'm just a Hello Kitty fanatic anyway Hello Kitty somehow has recognized finally that these little girls who grow up using Hello Kitty products and items growing to adults wanting Hello Kitty items and a lot of companies have finally come into tow or come to realize that there's a market for Hello Kitty in their brands such as uh, which I'm going to show you today Tupperware has um, jumped on the Hello Kitty bandwagon um, Mac has jumped on the Hello Kitty bandwagon I'm hoping Mary Kay I'm just I mean because everyone knows I use Mary Kay um, makeup that's my my regime is Mary Kay makeup and so if Mary Kay comes out um, with the Hello Kitty line it's all over it's all done anyway I'm going to share with you today some of the items, Hello Kitty items that I've bought and purchased and like, um, in fact some just came in um, a day ago. But anyway, um, as far as Mac is concerned, I got a, oops, I have to go this way, got a box and um, I ordered some, um, I went on, um, I logged on to www.mac.com makeup supplier.com um, that's where you can go to instead of going to the regular mac website where you're buying stuff at resale you can log on to this website and buy any mac product at the wholesaler price okay again that's www.macmakeupsupplier.com okay so that's where you can go to get any Mac product. Anyway, while I was on that website, I obviously I had to go to their Hello Kitty section line. And so what I got from Hello Kitty, I was looking at the makeup and stuff like the the two dolly and um uh, I um the eyeshadows and they have some really pretty eyeshadows, but they gear more to um um my Caucasian sisters versus they really haven't tapped into the african-american market that there are african-american women who love hello kitty that would love to to wear or use 
you know, a Hello Kitty um, line of product that gears towards the, you know, our sisters of color. But anyway, so what I got from Mac was I bought, isn't that cute? I bought the Mac um, mascara and lip liner pack. Um, open it. This is what it look like, and as you can see, it's the little Hello Kitty, and you see, of course, naturally, it's by Mac, and um, this that's the mascara and this is the eyeliner um now and anyone who knows me knows i when it comes to makeup it's mary Kay every day all day but because i love hello kitty so much i just like well i'll invest i mean i can use their mascara and their eyeliners and stuff but anyway it's black it's it goes on really good um uh it stays on and this is this this is waterproof mascara I mean see little hello kitty I mean the packaging of it is just so cute so adorable but anyway so that's the mascara now if you're asking me well does that Mac mascara beat your Mary Kay ultimate lash no it doesn't <laughs> um, yeah it just it just doesn't now I have to if I can get it out of here um, the um, Hello Kitty uh, eye liquid eyeliner I'm gonna have to get used to it because most of the eyeliners that I use are just like the solid you know what I mean like just the regular solid regular eyeliner that you would get through Mary Kay um, kind of I have to get used to using the liquid you know you know with the control and getting it on the eye um, oh, the only suggestion I have to use if, if you're gonna use this if you put it on because it, obviously it's a wet liquid eyeliner um, which once you put it on get your blow dryer and kind of blow it out before you get to blinking because it'll mix into your it'll kind of mess up a little bit and it does rub off really easy so once you get it on make sure you don't rub your eye I mean, as soon as you rub your eye it's going to come right off so it doesn't this doesn't really do a good job of staying on if you should get to rubbing your eye or something if you have allergies don't use this because it'll just you, as soon as you rub your eye it's going to come right off but it's still cute and of course it's hello kitty so you know i love it so it was just um one of those things that I just had to have by next so anything so anyway that's that then I bought the Mac um, seven brush uh, makeup brush set see it see here it says hello kitty and at the bottom it says Mac it's a I don't think this is leather I think it might be a pleather case I don't I wouldn't say this is leather but anyway it's really cute and this is what the brushes look like and the this one here or got to use the, this one is the powder brush so I'll take that one out and so as you see it's still in this little little plastic thing because of course I just got these and I haven't used them yet and this is the Mac Hello Kitty. I don't know if you can see this here, and I'm still getting the Mac 187 brush. Can you see that? Mac 187. I don't think you can. I don't know. Can you see it? Anyway, that's Hello Kitty Mac 187. Um, it's really, really super soft. I mean, it's just a very pretty pretty brush have I used it yet of course actually as you can see not yet so once I actually use the brushes I'll let you know how good they are but there's the powder brush put that back then this one here is the uh, MAC foundation brush and this is let me see this one is the 190 the Hello Kitty 
Hello Kitty MAC 190 foundation brush. Again, extremely soft. Um, this one's more dense, so it, it it's, feels more, you know, it's not as, I mean, it's soft, but it's not as soft as the other um, powder brush. But very nice, very nice brush. And of course, naturally, as it says, it's a Hello Kitty brush. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So there's that one. Then, the next one, let's see, the next one is this one. That's the um, large angle brush. So, bring out this one's number 168. And as you can see, as you can see here, that's why they call it an angle brush. Very soft. Um, very nice so you want to contour if good for contouring yeah if you want to contour yeah but an awesome brush to do your contouring um, there's that one. then the next one is the um the um Pencil, I think this is the pencil brush. I think it's pencil. This is number this is the 219. This is the 219 brush. I will use this to um to to define my creases like when I put my makeup on, I would use this to define my creases and to Add shadow under my line. That's what I would use this for. Yeah, there's that one. And this one is the concealer brush. You want to add some concealer under your eyes. Like I have, like um, I have like dark circles under my eyes. I was born with them. I get them from my grandmother because my mom doesn't have any dark circles under her eye and anyone who met, who's met my mom she's very pretty and um yeah she's beautiful skin and she doesn't have any dark circles and the only person i think i could have gotten those from is my grandmother so anyway i use concealer obviously under my eyes to even out my skin tone and then i few like you know of course i don't know any of you but when i have my cycle i kind of break out and i had a couple of clusters you know a couple of pimples here and then i had couple of pimples there and stuff so this is an excellent concealer brush to get you know that concealer in there to to cover that, all that up before you actually add your other foundation if you add any foundation and then whatever press powder you so yeah here's the MAC this is the MAC I can't see oh, yeah glasses would help The Max 190. This is Mac, the 194 brush by Mac. The Hello Kitty line. The Hello Kitty. The Hello Kitty line on that 194. Anyway, so there's that. And then here is the Mac. I said 266 angle brush. This brush is used like I, if I had a liquid eyeliner MAC has a liquid black liquid eyeliner that I'm gonna get from that website that's only 10 bucks so anyway you, you just dip your stuff dip your brush into the liquid liner and then you just add it on and it just adds a perfect angle so I'm just kind of showing you how you would use the brush but yeah here's that angle brush see here and can you see yeah, very nice, very nice. And it's soft, but it still has enough density, density where it'll hold up. So, anyway, there's that. And then the last brush is the lip brush. And this is, cross back on y'all because I'm getting old, can't see. Is the MAC 316. I don't know if you can see the number there. Max three, Mac three sixteen lip brush. Anyway, soft. Looks like it'll work really good. Of course, I haven't used any of these brushes yet, but.
just wanted to come in and show you so yeah um on the on that website again at www.macmakeupsupplier.com they have the brush set the three set brush set they have the there's a, a three brush makeup set a six brush makeup set and a seven brush and i got i got the of course the seven brush set so like i just wanted to show you guys i haven't used them yet so i can't tell you how well they work or not but yeah so once i do i'll let you know then i also got this cute little powder brush from mac really cute open it and a little wrapper this is what it looks like and of course you see mac and the little hello kitty so you take it out isn't that cute and it's he is so oh my gosh you guys it's so freaking soft and this is the first time i've rubbed it anywhere on my skin because i wanted to come in and show you guys oh my god it's so soft i cannot tell you how soft this brush is oh my god love 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 this brush it's so cute anyway so and I used it. I mean, used it now, so I don't think I have to put the little plastic thing out. But yeah, and it goes back in this little case. You just throw that in your purse, and you go. Really cute. So then, um, some of my other Hello Kitty items I got was from the Atlantic Seaboard Company. The Atlantic. Can you see that? Atlantic Seaboard Trading Post Company. I got me a really, really, really cute um, Hello Kitty watch. Now, online, it, the face looks like it was gold, but it's not. It's a silver face. Oh my gosh, isn't this cute? Black leather band. So cute, but I can only, um, well, I guess I can wear Some people wear their silver jewelry with their gold jewelry. But I was really, 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 really hoping that it was a gold faced metal band because I'm more partial to gold jewelry than I am to um, silver. And anyone who knows me knows my skin is extremely sensitive. So if I wear any gold, it has to be 14 carats or higher. And if I wear like a silver metal, I can't do it that way. Sorry, y'all. Y'all just have to look at it like that. But isn't that cute? Oh, my God. Love it. So, anyway, with that, they sent me an extra battery for the watch. And they also sent me, which um, I don't think I'll be, I don't know. I haven't tried to wear it, but um, they sent me this really cute little Hello Kitty pirate necklace. Isn't she cute? But unless unless this is like sterling silver, I won't be able to wear it. Because I mean within minutes my skin will be acting crazy. Like girl, now you know damn well we can't wear this. So anyway, I'll try it out. If not, I'll give it to my niece. She'll like it. So that's what I got from the Atlantic. The Atlantic Seaboard trading post for Hello Kitty and then I'll show y'all that a little bit yeah, something completely different than Hello Kitty so anyway with the Hello Kitty thing um, a lot of companies have realized such as Mac that there's a market for the Hello Kitty line there's little girls that grow up to be adults that still love Hello Kitty is willing to spend money on Hello Kitty and they've jumped on the Hello Kitty bandwagon so another company besides Mac that has jumped on the Hello Kitty bandwagon is Tupperware. See this? It's a cute little Hello Kitty lunch um, pack set by, as you can see, Tupperware. When I was in California and visiting friends in November, um, 
some friends of mine, um, the twins, um, they have a brother that has gotten into selling um, Hello Kitty. And like I told you, anyone who's close to me knows I love Hello Kitty. And they knew that I love Hello Kitty. And they're like, hey, uh, my brother's got um, um, some is selling Tupperware. And there happens to be a Hello Kitty line um, in, top, in uh, Tupperware. So they brought it out, showed it to me. And of course, naturally, as y'all know, I fell in love with it. So anyway, it zips all the way out, and I don't know if you can see it, but that's what it looks like when you open it, and in it, it's insulated, it's insulated, and um, it comes with, you know, a big, a little, I guess, rectangle um, box. As you can see here and you open it I think what you'd have to do is because it's not in the shape of a sandwich but I guess if you cut your sandwich in half you could you know there you go cut it in half and put them side by side it'll fit in there it's pretty big um, you can make yourself a little salad or you can put you some fruit and crackers cheese and crackers in it and boom you get to go so it comes with that and then you get two two uh, these little smaller Hello Kitty containers that look just like the big one. They're just smaller. Um, I guess you could put maybe some some put some cookies or something in it, or maybe some fruit. You could even put yogurt in it. And it, you know, when they seal closed, it's closed. And then of course, and then of course you get two of them, and one of them I I use. Um, they are microwavable. They're my. I've put this one in a microwave. It didn't melt. Cooked food that I cooked in it cooked up good. Um, it's dishwasher safe. Uh, obviously, I put this in the dishwasher, and you see, she looks just as pretty as the day I got her off the bag. So you get two of those, and then uh, last but not least, you get this really oops, a little talking off of it. Anyway, I'm gonna take the top off to show you anyway. This really cute, this really cute um, Hello Kitty. Got the top on the top. On. Oh, there you go. This really cute Hello Kitty um, little portable mug, and it's it's um, it holds eight ounces. It holds hot and cold liquid, and um, I tell you. Um, it's spill proof. You put some liquid in here. Um, you put liquid in here. It will not spill. You don't have to worry about it. I mean, it holds the liquid. It is definitely spill proof. And um, love it. You can definitely put your coffee in there. Your little smoothies or whatever. And it has a little thing you put on. A little cap you put on top of it. It's just really cute and adorable. I love it. And um, I think I paid like 50 bucks this set so my assemblies are my district assemblies come on you know what you'll see me using so yeah really cute it has a really cute adjustable handle on it if you can see here adorable so there's two companies that's come online now Here's my little favorite ones. When I was in Bellevue, you know, anyone who knows me knows my son goes to school, lives in Seattle, and, or lives in Bellevue, Washington, which is right outside Seattle, and goes to school in Seattle. Anyway, on one of my trips to visit him, just check on him to see how he was doing, we went into the mall and of course naturally any Hello Kitty lover when they go into any mall they're looking for a Hello Kitty shop. So I happened to go into a Hello Kitty store and um, they had they had um, purses on sale. They were like 15% off and they got some beautiful purses. Some They have some beautiful patent leather purses. Black, red, cream, white. Anyway y'all I saw this one I got this in January so I've had this one for a few months but I got this Hello Kitty purse I mean it's beautiful it's 
got the little Hello Kitty emblems on it. It's adorable. Um, and it's regularly, it was $75, so 15% off. I pay like 60 or 70 for it. Inside it, let me see how big it is. It's cute. I mean, it is absolutely adorable. Of course, naturally, you see here. I don't know if you can see, but of course, it's got the Hello Kitty on it. And at the time, when um, the woman sold me the purse, she didn't tell me anything about that they had a wallet that go to it. I didn't find that out till um, last month that, that there were wallets that go to it. So, of course, naturally, I had to go online to see. Uh, if I could find me a matching wallet to go with it. And as you guys see here, I mean, look at this. I mean, it even has a cute little satchel that goes. Oops, I didn't put this on right. There we go. Cute little satchel that, you know, protective satchel that you can protect it with. And you can even use this as a little, little gym bag or something if you wanted to. It's so freaking cute. But anyway, so I got that at the Bellevue, the Lincoln Square Mall in Bellevue. And then online, I found the wallet. Oh, it is so cute, you guys. Let me open it for you. Tons of, tons of room for you, for your cards and stuff. And um, as you see here, there's, let me see it on this side. Sorry, I'm getting used to how to do this. But anyway, you have your little side for your cash. And then you have these three little, you know, as you can see here, there's three extra little slots here to put your stu stuff in. Of course, you know, I have my money, a little cash. And I got this all backwards. But anyway, there's my cash on this side. My, um, driver's license and then you unzip it oh I just zipped it up you unzip it and you got a whole new other three sections where you can put your receipts I can gum on this side receipts and of course I don't know if you can see but see the little hello hello kitty emblem there and then you unzip it Zip in, of course, your little chain. You got my little change and stuff in there. Anyway, it's cute, cute, cute. And I made a promise to myself: any new, any new purse I get, any new purse that I get, I'm gonna make sure I get the matching wallet to go with it, cause it just don't make sense to have a cute purse and then a wallet that don't match it. So anyway, there's the black patent leather Hello Kitty wallet to match my purse. And then I just got few days ago a package I, I was wondering why this purse took so long to get here I didn't realize it was coming all the way from Tokyo Japan but yeah y'all <laughs> it's worth the wait and on special occasions I will be um, using it um, this is what I got from Tokyo Tokyo Japan it looks like a Louis as you can see here but as you can see, it has embossed on it a little Hello Kitties. And the KT, I was like, what does the KT stand for? And I looked at the thing, it says, you know, it's the kitty, you know, you on the, you got a purse like this, then clearly if you bought a purse like this from overseas, you're definitely on the kitty train. So that's what that stands for. This is the Diva collection line to um, Hello Kitty. It is so freaking cute. This is what the back looks like. Isn't this adorable, you guys? OMG. So you open it. And you see this what the inside of it looks like. It's huge. It's like a satin, more of a satin cup feel to it. Here's got a zipper on this side to put stuff in, zips up. And then of course you have this side where you can put your cell phone and other items in and of course naturally like I told you if you're gonna buy a purse and they offer the wallet to go with it and they offer the wallet get it so here's the wallet that goes with the purse it's so cute Hello Kitty is just giving me everything 
and then some. Here's the inside of the wallet, which is gold. Of course, it says Hello Kitty Diva Collection. Diva Collection. The um, buckle that and boom. So you got three sides. I mean, plenty of credit card space or department store cards you have. I mean, y'all, this is so cute. I ain't going to say what I paid for it, but I'm in love with it. It was definitely worth the wait. I will be rocking this purse this summer. And um, I'll let y'all know how well it uh, holds up. So this is my Hello Kitty little Hello Kitty haul that um, I'm doing or that I some Hello Kitty products that I have that I absolutely love. So you can tell you know, someone who loves Hello Kitty because they'll have a lot of the items. Oh, now one other thing that I got. It's not a Hello Kitty item, but just buyers beware when you order stuff online. Hold on. Okay. Um, my favorite oops, oh, thing is falling off here. My, um, my favorite Perfume my you know every woman who wears perfumes have a signature perfume that they wear My signature perfume that I absolutely love. There's actually two of them But the main one that's my signature perfume is Gucci one Looks like this it comes in a Glass a heavy glass bottle Like this and as you can see here This is almost gone. I got just a little bit of this left i bought this in 2004 so i've almost had this well yeah two years it'll be so i've had it for eight years and as you can see it's almost gone um i bought i paid 96 dollars for this in 04 and so i've been looking i went to macy's and i looked for gucci and they have a number of gucci perfumes but it's not this kind it's not the gucci one it's a spicy they have the pink Gucci. If you go to Macy's right now, you can find um, a Gucci perfume like this. But it's the pink floral line. And this Gucci is called Gucci 2. It doesn't smell like this. It's more of a floral spring scent. And this Gucci is more of a sweet vanilla um, honeysuckle smell to it. It's the only way I can describe it. I love it. So anyway, I happened to be online and I was like looking to find where I could find this Gucci one. So anyway, I was on Amazon.com and the picture on Amazon.com looks just like this. So this is the picture they're showing, but it was only on sale for like 50 bucks. So I thought I was getting a glass jar like this of Gucci. But what actually came for 50 bucks, which I should have known, <laughs> this little this is what came i got a smaller version of the gucci it definitely is gucci one and i was like oh lord i hope i didn't pay 50 dollars for, for a knockoff but this is what i got and as you can see it's just it's a smaller version of the big this gucci so and i thought oh wait i said i hope this ain't no daggone knockoff but the minute oh, the minute i took the cap off i was like oh yeah <laughs> that's her <laughs> oh my god it smells so good you guys um oh, this is the best perfume ever now the pros on this on this smaller bottle of smaller bottle of Gucci is it's more portable um, you could throw this in your purse if you wanted to just like reapply like say you were working all day and you got off of work and you were going somewhere and you just wanted to you know just refresh you know this is you can easily throw this in your purse and go um although with gucci you can spray this uh a couple of squirts in the morning and this this will last you all day long i mean you don't need to reapply this perfume is so good that's how you know you got a good perfume too is um you can spray it on once and then we spray it also too side note when you spray perfume on you don't spray it on your body you spray the perfume into the air a couple of squirts in the air and then you walk through the mist that's how you're you're you 
properly apply perfume. But anyway, so just I gave it when I got the perfume um, when I went back and it asked for a buyer's review. I gave it four out of five stars because what I saw online, what I saw online, this is what I saw online, did not match what I actually got in the mail. But is it Gucci One perfume? Yes. Um, so this definitely will last me a little longer if I need to get me another one. They did say they had a 1.7 ounce bottle. This is the one ounce bottle. And so they have a 1.7 bottle that's $20 more. So it's the, instead of 50 bucks, it's 70 bucks. So I think I might, when I get me some more money, I'll um, go in and uh, buy the 1.7 ounce. But yeah, y'all, if y'all want some good smelling perfume, Gucci One, Gucci One. That's, oh, that stuff. So anyway, so that's the end of my Hello Kitty slash Gucci um, review. I hope you like it. Um, if you like what you see, um, check me out on YouTube or um, I will provide a link to my Facebook page so you'll probably be able to see this on here. Chime in with your comments. If you have some Hello Kitty items that, that you like that you want to show, um, do a, a video response to this video. And let me see what you got and what you liked and what you didn't like and um, take it from there. Anyway, thanks for, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Peace out. Bye.